Okay, guys, so today we're talking about empirical formulas. Uh, this is going to be probably the shortest, quickest unit, or, or little section, vodcast of this unit. And so let's get started. Uh, empirical formula, what is an empirical formula? An empirical formula, and note, this is not an I, it's not I-M, it's not imperial, uh, and I always get kind of frustrated with that. It's empirical, as in empirical data. Um, and so don't say imperial formula to me, that's going to kind of frustrate me a little bit, just a little pet peeve of mine. Empirical formula is a reduced form of a molecular formula. So if we take a molecular formula, which are covalent compounds, remember ionic compounds are formula units, uh, but if you take a molecular formula, which are covalent compounds, and we reduce it, we get an empirical formula. Now, the reason why we don't reduce um, ionic compounds or ionic forms because is because they're already reduced. If you remember, if we did something uh, like um, calcium oxide, where you had Ca2 plus and O2 negative, and you crisscross here, you'd get Ca2O2, and you would reduce that automatically, and that's the ionic formula, or the formula unit of the calcium oxide molecule. But we don't do that with molecular formulas, and so uh, we have a special name for the reduced form of a molecular formula, and we call that the empirical formula. So how do we get that? It's really simple. You just work on it like you would reduce a fraction down or how you simplify fractions. So let's actually look at those to kind of bring you into this. So if you had two-fourths and, and you wanted to reduce that, well, both of these numbers, the numerator and the denominator, could be divided by two. And so you would get um, one-half as a reduced form of that. Um, if you wanted to uh, reduce three ninths, both of these could be divided by three, so you would get one third. If you wanted to reduce eight twelfths, well, uh, you could reduce this by two, but you could also reduce this by four. Um, so if we reduce by four, we would get two on the top, and we would get three on the bottom. If we reduced by two, you'd get down to four sixths, which could further be reduced by two to two thirds, right? And last one, one-third. Well, um, you can't reduce this. It's already simplified, and you will see many molecular formulas that cannot be simplified because you cannot reduce both of these by anything. You have to be, be able to reduce every number in order to reduce it. All right, so uh, let's look at some formulas and do some practice. So um, here's a molecular formula, CH4. What would the empirical formula of this molecule be? Um, so make sure you understand that if there's no number here after the C, then it is by default a 1. So there's 1 C and 4 H's. So um, we cannot reduce this. It's already already reduced because we have a 1 already. And so the empirical formula for CH4 methane is also CH4. C2H604. Uh, so if you look at this molecule, the 2, the 6, and the 4 can all be divided out by 2. And so if you divide all these out by 2, you would get 1C. You would get uh, 6 divided by 2 for the hydrogen would be 3Hs. And 4 divided by 2 for the oxygen would be 2 O's, 2 oxygens. So the empirical formula would be CH3O2. C6H12O6. Okay, if you look at this, this is a pretty easy one, it's pretty evident. All of these numbers can, div can be divided out by a 6. And so if we divide these by 6, we'll get CH2O. So that's our answer for uh, gluco uh, glucose. Water, we have a 2 here. Again, if there's no number, if there's no subscript, it's understood to be a 1. Uh, we can't reduce this. It's already reduced. So the empirical formula of water is the same as the molecular formula, H2O. N2O4, pretty evident here. Both of these can be divided out by a 2. And so our empirical formula would be NO2. C4H12O8. If you look at this, um, all of these are divisible by 4. And so if we divide the C4 by 4, we get 1 carbon. The H12 by 4, we get 3 hydrogens, and the O8 by 4, then we get 2 uh, oxygens, so CH3O2. Uh, I do want to make note of this. If you look at these two, the empirical formulas are the same. They're both CH3O2, yet the molecules are not the same. 
this molecule has two carbons, this molecule has four carbons. And so you will see, uh, particularly in the organic uh, cytochemistry, that uh, there are many, many, many molecules that can have the same empirical formulas. And we have to do a step to figure out which molecule are we talking about. But this is the first step, so don't worry about that yet. All right? And that is the end of this unit. That's pretty, I told you it's pretty short and simple, pretty easy.